My name is Kako Ketona. I live and reside in Napili. And my family comes from a long lineage of people in Lahaina. I come today for specific reasons. And I share with you folks today what reasons I have to be present. I'd like to take an opportunity to honor and mourn people that I know personally from all community that cannot be here with us today. People like Louise Abihai, Betty and Robert Dykeman, Salote Tanoe and her Oana, Clyde Wakila, and Les Bernade, Bernabe, people that have been present for me growing up in my town. Maybe, maybe I was not the type of person you wanted to have around in your community. And also people that I grew up with that had to deal with me at that time too. And so I took this participation in this walk with our community to be able to honor those people and everyone else that we've lost. And so I appreciate everybody being here and standing collectively and sharing all of our mana. But I also like to honor them and have us all be able to honor them as well and all the people that we took our loss to. Because we have yet to even have an opportunity as a collective community to honor them and the sacrifice that was made. And you know, most times people expect to hear from me and talking about the work that we're doing and what we've been going at and the history of Lahaina and the historical properties that we cherish and hold and aim to hold those spaces and create more of them. People can know and look upon our community and understand the resiliency that we have based on the diversities that we present and how we've embraced each other along the way. And uh, it all comes from the history of this place. Lahaina Luna is known as the pride, the school that holds the highest pride in Maui County. And that's for a reason. Our town has been built upon foundations that speaks volumes to the levels of success of the Hawaiian people. We've embraced the differences and the different resources that have come in, some good and some bad, but it is in every way contributed to who we are today. And so I hope that we can hold on to that kind of values that we share in our community in Lahaina. And as we move forward and we work towards this effort, standing alongside with our Ohanas of all of our Aina in Paiva Waiti, if it's the va'a that we look to build, it's the forest that we need to build to have that va'a. And if we're talking about the va'a, we need to understand every pepeao, every noho, every palevai, and every single piece of that va'a that is the representation of every individual person in this community. And the responsibility to that person and that position on that va'a. Whether it is your stay lines or your hoi, wherever you may find yourself, on that va'a, know your kuleana and be a part of it. And so when we move forward, as we move forward, let us not forget the losses that we took to get to where we are. Let us build our foundations once again, strong, stronger than before. Let us turn to Kamalu Ulo Lele and what it represented. Let us have a firm relationship with our Aina. Not as a commodity, 
But as a Ohana, our Aina, this town that we talk about today, is a mother for many of us. And she's destroyed. She's in despair. But we're going to make that better. Let us all get together and understand that. So as the dust and the smoke settles, when we start to find a little bit more safe and secure, long-term, whatever, interim housing that we're dealing with now, some of the rooms still get smoke inside, yeah? And I understand the frustrations that our community is expressing. And I'm here for you. That's my second reason why I'm here, to reconfirm my commitment to my community. I always said I'm going to be here from the start and I'm going to be here to the end. <laughs>